Okay, so on to question number seven. Sort these nucleotide building blocks by their name or classification. So you have phosphate, ribose, deoxyribose, purine, and pyrimidine. Okay, so let's rule out the phosphate since it's the easiest to identify. So it's the only one that has the phosphorus in it. This is your phosphate group. Then we're going to draw our ribose, which is this five-membered ring. So you'll see there's two five-membered rings, uh, but ribose is the one that has the extra alcohol group on it. I'm just going to write that down. So I'm not going to draw out the hydrogen so that you can see. And then basically deoxyribose has like a similar structure. But it's missing that alcohol group. So let me write that down. Missing OH group. Okay, so next we're going to classify the rest of them as either purines or pyrimidines. change the color. So basically with your purine, uh, there are two rings involved. And then with your pyrimidines, There's only one ring involved. Okay, so let me draw all these groups. So first I'm going to look at the structures that have two rings and draw them out, hopefully neat. This is fine. Okay. So if you're familiar with your biochem, you'll see that these are part of the building blocks of DNA. So these are guanine and adenine molecules. And they're both purine. And for the pyrimidines, I'm going to look at all of my one uh, ring structures. So there should be three of them that are left.
And lastly, Okay, so again, you'll notice these as Uriso. Cytosine. And thymine. Which are your building blocks for DNA and RNA. Okay, so let's see what they said. Phosphate. Ribose, the oxyribose has a removed oxygen. The pyrimidines have a six membered ring. And then the purines have a nine membered double ring system with four nitrogens and five carbons. So, solution is correct. Thank you.